So there's this thing called Springer Fever. Springer Fever is like the beginning of every year after you fight the Appalachian Trail, you feel this like overwhelming urge to like be like, ah, I want to get back down to Georgia and start hiking, right? And uh, past few years, it's been really strong, but really tough on me because I know I haven't been able to. But this year, um, I feel like I'm closer to getting back out there, getting back out on the trail. Um, although I may not get back out on the Appalachian Trail this year, I definitely see myself doing it maybe next year or the year after. This year is going to be all like build up again. Uh, but what I wanted to explain was a couple things about the trail. Okay, when we're on the trail, okay, first of all, uh, it's not like you gotta go out there hunting and stuff. Uh, it, it's become so, like, it, we're so, uh, we're so built up here on the East Coast that it, it's kind of become like this very crowded trail and very social, but when you're social in nature and you're living with only what you have on your back, you're a whole different person. It's, um, it's not like here where it's all comparative, you know? Um, and, like, so, I love my beard. Um, so like in that aspect, I'm just really excited that I'm getting this much closer. I'm building up friendships locally now with people that are like, oh, that seems interesting. Like I may want to take that up and that's awesome. Like that's like, yeah, I can get some people out there with me. Woo! You know, um, uh, <clears throat> and, uh, anyway, some things about the trail. Okay. Uh, it's like 2000, I don't know what it is this year, but when I hiked it, it was 2,178 miles and point point three. Then the year after, it was like 2,181.2, I think it was. And then it just like progresses and there's reroutes every year and slight patterns that make the trail a little longer or a little shorter. And it seems to just keep getting longer right now. So uh, anyway, anyways, uh, when you're hiking through the south, because it's not like all the glaciers that we had up here in the north in the in the past, uh, it's not like a lot of rocky bald pops. It's fairly, uh, it's fairly uh, compressed like dirt. And uh, it's actually very nice. It's good for the knees. It, it makes the walking a little less technical, so it's kind of enjoyable. Uh, well, it's a little more, um, it, I can't say more enjoyable, but it, it's less difficult, but it's fun. Uh, I mean, that way you can just kind of like, ah, da, 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 and talk to someone behind you without having to worry about falling off a cliff or something. Um, and and uh, I mean, it's good times uh, out there. Uh, we all have a sense of family. It's all like tight bonds. Um, the thing is, though, and I learned this the hard way. There's a lot of partiers out there. And if you get uh, mixed up uh, in the wrong things, um, you, you kind of lose sight of what your goals were in the first place. And that happened to me. I went out there with pure intentions of seeking the most spiritual high, you know, and I ended up getting the most smokable high. And, uh, like, you know, once here and there, I guess, isn't so bad. But, I mean, you, you can't make it a habit out there. And, uh I mean, sometimes, like, you can't eat without doing it, because you're eating, like, crap food, especially in the South. It's, so it's best, like, when you're down South, if you stop at a restaurant or something, you, you grab some pizza, and, um, it, I mean, you, you put it in your backpack, wrap it up in tinfoils, throw it in your backpack, hike out with the pizza, hike out with some burgers, and there's meals for the next couple of days. Um, money, money should have been more difficult for me, but, uh, unfortunately, it wasn't. Um... But I would say, on average, I mean, if you really want to rough it, you could probably get by on, like, $20, $30 a week. And that that's stretching it. I mean, I, I know a guy who went out there. Uh, I'm just going to use his trail name, Lumpy. Uh, I was talking to him about food. And he's like, hey, man, I, I hiked this entire trail on $12 a week. And I'm like, damn. Like, I'm like, what were you eating? He was like, I ate a lot of oodles and noodles and stuff like that. I was like, oh, man. Like, that's not even real. Like, whatever. And um, But hey, to eat your own. And um, it sounds like really, like, it is difficult. I mean, you can get hurt anytime, especially if you're trying to travel fast, which was my mistake. So hike at a pace that you can enjoy and just, like, mellow out. And that's what I learned on my last hike because I, I made some, like, really tight bonds with people because uh, I started early in the season. I made some tight bonds with uh, people that were trying to hike all the way to the end before college uh, started. And um, so I, I turned into, like, the speed hiker, which I honestly too old for that. And I, I like, wrecked myself in a major way. Don't do that. <laughs> um, and so, like, my tips or basically learn how to pack. Um, I can do some packing videos in the near future. I really, really, really miss the trail, and I really miss hiking, um, but I've been getting all the physical therapy I need, so I'm going to start back up again, train with the backpack on full pack, so I'm gonna actually going to do some videos going through that, and uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you some gear you may have never heard of, or you may have heard of, or may have never used or have used before. Uh, I'm going to show you some food that looks like absolute crap, but that's what it is. <laughs> so enjoy your crap. <laughs> uh so, yeah, I want to get back into this way to make these kind of videos. Because um, I, I do see myself hiking again in the near future. And uh, things are looking good. But, uh, so to all my friends out there in Hikerland, hi! And I will talk to you all later.